There were four of them and they had English accents, so some of their captives dubbed them the Beatles. But in fact, they were Islamist fanatics accused of terrible crimes. Mohammed Mwazi, called by some Jihadi John, was killed three years ago. Aina Davis is in a Turkish jail. But now it's been confirmed that Alexander Koti and El Shafi El Sheikh are in the hands of Kurdish militia in Syria. British aid worker David Haynes was one of their alleged victims. So this news has come as a relief to his daughter. It was always kind of the unanswered question as to where they were and could they do this sort of thing again. And yes, this sort of thing might happen again, but the specific people that carried it out before have now all been caught and I think it will bring a lot of closure to all the families. In their time with the so-called Islamic State, the gang was accused of numerous cases of torture, beheadings, even crucifixion. The brutality of those years with IS contrast with their early lives. Alexander Coty is 34 years old. He's originally from Paddington, West London, and of Ghanaian and Greek Cypriot background, and he was a dedicated fan of his local London football club, QPR. El Shafi El Sheikh is 29. He came to the UK in the 1990s as a child refugee from Sudan. He lived in White City in West London, where he worked as a mechanic. The key for us is that one thing they do have is valuable, valuable intel, valuable knowledge on the way that ISIS works, their infrastructure, they, uh, the way they've been operating their propaganda, where they've been targeted to go, etc. And that important, that, that knowledge and uh, that intelligence is very, very important. Two Londoners a long way from home who now wait to see how and where they will face justice.